Okay guys, welcome back to Epic 15, the CSGO Grand Final. This is Crossy back with you uh, alongside Hoss and we are watching the knife round here. Uh, it's now uh, one all on the maps so after Chug took down Inferno. They're now on their uh, map choice here as well uh, on train. And we're seeing uh, Jake and trying to uh, run for his life against uh, three choke players. All tagged, so we could see a, a huge play on this knife round, but looking unlikely. Yeah, I mean, we got 50 seconds left. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not casting knife rounds. I refuse to. But um, this map pick is Chokes. Uh, they are feeling very confident. You just walked past the Kaz guys. Their heads were down. They were in a huddle just talking about what went wrong. Kaz, on the other hand, they were buzzing. They were happy with them. Uh, Chokes, sorry. Were happy they were buzzing after their win on Inferno. Oh my god, please no. Is he going to do it? Is this the 1v3 clutch dream? Could be. This is going in the highlight video. If it is, and oh, it is, Jacob. he's taking it. <laughs> nice. The one time we decide not to commentate a knife round, something wow. good happens in it. <laughs> Never commentate knife rounds. Unless you've got someone like Kainai and do it in a Russian accent, then... No. no. Oh, Imi there with the banter. More kills than last map. Oh, banter. I mean, that's what the land's all about. It's all about the banter, getting in there. As uh, Kaz Esports, they are starting on the CT side. For me, though, train is pretty even right now. Very few teams actually know how to play the CT side correctly. So we could potentially see Choke grab an early lead here as their pistol strat is going to be a slow walk here towards the pop dog. And he's already out on the A side. Is able to get the entry. It's actually going to translate into a B push, it seems. Still slow walking. Now they are making some noise. He's playing very deep on this site, holding back. Declan on oil gets one from range, looking for a second. Gets flashback, he's gonna have to fall for now. Yeah, he is, and the plant comes in. See Declan uh, trying to make his way up alongside uh, Reason, so they are pushing together. I like that play, and uh, Mighty Max is taken down, so there, there is a good chance they can take this back. Uh, Pal with the frag, Declan though, finds straight back on Peggy and uh, Reason. Uh, able to get the frag, as uh, that buys time for Spuds to get that defuse. So a really good retake from Kaz there. Yeah, definitely. So, Choke were able to get the bomb down, which means we're not going to see them <coughs> buy anything up this round. Imi was able to save his Tech 9 as well in there. I think I um, agree with your point about the CT setup being quite difficult on this new train and... I think it's something that uh, teams have struggled with on the train, even the older version uh, from CSGO came out. We've got the chance for a spray down. They're in a killing shoot and Spuds is able to pick up one and do some damage to uh, several others. Uh, Reason steps out through the smoke, gets to uh, SEO, was blind. But at that point, Jacob uh, manages to get uh, a spray down. But good work from Choke during that melee. They were able to get the bomb plant down, so that's going to be some more uh, cash in the bank for them. It was interesting they still went for a buy, however. I mean, they were Tech 9 full armor and main there. I mean, they'll have to eco one more here. Could see them go for another similar buy here and rely on the on the bomb plant, but it looks like they are just going flat out for those uh, pistols. No armor, just the pistols themselves. P250, Tech 9 still on Emmy. Again, it's going to be a play here towards B to start things off through white walls. And they're going to go for a good old pop dive. And they are going for it, pouring out into upper now, but Spuds is out on top with uh, one frag. Mighty Max gets a chance to uh, get another plant down as Jacob uh, with the MP7 uh, going for economy comes out. And uh, again, he's mopping up the last of the players and gets the uh, defuse in as well. So 3-0, uh, it's going to be to Kaz. Uh, choke after a slightly botched economy, I guess you could say. And now going to be back on the buy, you'd think. Yeah, now they are going to be on a buy. And that could have been where we saw them actually put a lot of money into that. Yeah. Power pick up the AWP. We saw them put a lot of money into that second round there because they knew they wanted to double eco it to get this economy going. To get that AWP on the on the T side because they knew the squads would do the exact same. So they were reliant so heavily on bomb plants, they actually put quite a bit into that second round and some into the third as well, still knowing that they were able to grab themselves an AWP here. As it is going to be POW just holding main for the time being it seems. And so we see how 
influential that orc can uh, come to be. Chak uh, taken down uh, to about half HP. SEO uh, gets dinked by Jacob, uh, taken down to 33 hit points, but he gets the kill. So that's going to open up uh, a bit of an avenue into B, potentially, with one of those players going down. Uh, so Spuds with the orc, but offside chance for a pick. Uh, it was a half chance. He was on the move and uh, wasn't able to crack out. But Declan steps up and takes down Powell as he tries to move into the toilets. A couple of choke players on low HP as we uh, go just under a minute left to play in this fourth round. The first buy versus buy. An important one uh, for these teams. For Chug to try and get a bit of momentum going if they can. Uh, but so far, early stages, Kaz looking solid on their CT setup. Chak might have some attention and drops out just before uh, there was a peek inside. Uh, still under fire though, and on 6 HP, decides to get out of there. Good time here we are. Before, before that, so we can get one. Both for the second, able to get it. And that is, of course, why players love that M4, A4. bullets in a clip. Means you can do spray down like that. That's now going to be four rounds to choke. The AWP not too effective. Going to have to probably eco this one. They could force it with Galil. But just going to be happy with the Tech Nines once again here. As Kaz seems for the time being to have this CT side on lockdown. They do, yeah. Um, train, you could argue it's a CT sided map and always has been. But if you don't get your... Uh main setup together then you can have players pouring all over that main area uh, out in the open and then they've got a the option into a but also plenty of routes to get towards b from there as well so um, you do have to be on point especially on that a site in the open area and we've got spuds with the orb he might have a peek from power but soon and misses the shot but he's going to have a second bite of the cherry possibly as they start to pour out into the upper site going to try and get that plant down again and work from there if they can their reason with the frag Good work taking down Reason. Immy chases uh, Jacob through uh, into the uh, middle area. Chat got players all around him. Go do what he can. And he's already picked up one on Immy. And what a shot that is from Chak on the spin. Uh, leaving it down to Spuds on top of the train. Picks up the no scope on Powell. And they are going to get that defuse. So it's 5-0. Uh, five, um, five straight from Kaz. But a good eco from Chuck. Yeah, it, it was indeed a nice eco there coming out from Trick Gaming. But even so, they lost the round. And now on this AK by they tried the AWP. It didn't work for them, so they will revert to their Inferno setup, which was, of course, the five rifles, favoring the Mollies as well over the second flash, or over the HE instead. And it looks like they're going to... What are they doing at spawn? Setting up these smokes. These are some well drilled folks here that essentially created a whole wall between Red Crane and uh, Z. But they still, and, oh, they've got a smoke between Red Crane as well. So they essentially created a few approach using the trains to help them. But Jacob and Reason are still there, ready and waiting, pushing through, pushing around Pop as well. Is Declan just Peggy left? The smokes were on point. The execute came a little bit too late. They're a little bit lackluster. As it looks like. Down yeah, he does, and very interesting to see that uh, smoke tactic that they used. Um, it it has a lot of potential, but straight off the bat, Spuds was able to uh, get the pick before the smokes had even popped, and so that was uh, one player down. And then could work for Jacob, who seems to be trying to get quite aggressive out of that B. Uh, he's pushing through to above uh, Pop Ladder, um, was there uh, very quickly to be able to rotate and drop down and get in behind these players that were going to try and uh, make use of that uh, smoke wall that they created. Got Powell back on the AWP here, uh, trying to uh, shift the momentum and put around in their favour. Jacob's got the chance of a kill, um, jumping around in the toilets area, but he doesn't come away with it, and uh, he comes off second best as well. does as power now with this AWP really just trying to find an opening here on towards upper seeing if Kaz have gone aggressive but just sitting back and this was one of the problems which we actually saw 27 and 1 have on Friday it feels so long ago up against Defiled. Defiled played the CT side so deep and so passive they really weren't showing anything. The T side gonna find it actually hard to get on in here and there it is straight away spray down the molly and the nade. That's a double molly kill coming in from Declan. As there's now just Powell and Emmy last two remaining. 
Now they're looking really solid on both sides here. Kaz, they've got a good upper setup. They're not exposing themselves too much. Powell with the Orc trying to make something happen and does take down Spuds, the Kaz Orper. So he's going to have to uh, rebuy that one. As uh, there it is, Reason and Dakin finishing the round out. So this is looking like a bit of a whitewash here. Seven rounds to zero. What a good old train. Jacob picks up an M4 from his buddy. He's getting rather low on cash, but just look at Spuds and Dakin right now. And Chuck as well. They've just been they have very few deaths between them. Just allows them to keep on buying and they're sitting on five five figures of money right now. Flashes and they do go out towards this space site once again, not going towards smokes just yet. Might save those four one situation. Zimmy gets a one-two. Quick headshot on Stegman and Reason. Those are some pretty big frags. Stegman and Reason are pretty high up on the scoreboard right now. They drop spuds, and they're in a great position to take this round. And spuds spud last man standing. It's as easy as that for Choke after they get the bomb down as well. It is, and Choke getting their first round on the board. Still playing cash for cash, so they can keep on buying. Uh, but I guess um, one thing you can say, it's not looking great for Choke right now, even if they have got that round uh, in the bank. Uh, but there's no saying they couldn't do exactly the same thing on their CT setup. This is a preferred map of theirs, and uh, it is one of those maps where you can uh, lock it down. Always have been able to in pretty much any game, any format for the Counter-Strike series. Um, it's been one of those where the right setup as Imi steps out, and he seems to be in form. He got a double last time out, and he's uh, made the opening pick here in mid. He's got a second again taken down and that's a pair of frags for him. Mighty Max uh, able to grab Declan before he stops uh, Peggy trying to push him to the other side. Uh, Reason uh, gets Immy up top. So it is uh, 3v2. Bomb gets planted over at the B site. And it's a chance for a Kaz retake. Yeah, they're coming from both upper and Z. That's Chuck is probably going to be able to find this frag onto Pal. There's two players left now, it's just one. Mighty Max, last man standing. Right, gets the frag, gonna have to get rid of Chuck here, he's holding it. He's able to get the frag. Just a little bit of time left on that one. Picks up the AWP for his buddy Pow. That's now Choke building some momentum up. Can Cows go for a bite? Yeah, they can. Yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, they'll have to uh, drop a gun to Jacob, but they're going to keep on uh, pushing through by the looks of it. Um, Orp's getting traded around. I don't think Jacob's going to stick with that, to be honest. And that does go into the hands of Spuds. So 7-2, uh, couple of rounds on the spin for Choke. That tail's going to be up, and they're hitting this mid-area fast again. Jack going to have a chance, and he does make the frag. And he's got the chance for a second as well, which he does make, taking down Peggy. Mighty Max last man standing, and he is gone quickly. Yeah, that's another great thing about train for the CT side. It's a very quick rotate straight between connector. If you do want to get from A to B or B to A. Any hope of uh, Choke trying to get back into this one? Uh, crushed, and they're back on the eco. Yeah, Tech 9. They've got a 2 Tech 9, 3 P, 2 Fiddies. And a good amount of nades there on PAL. Two frags coming in early on here. Spud is going to get the leg of power. That results in a frag coming in. Mike and Mike and Ezio have found themselves in the M4s. Mike should probably drop his M4 to a teammate and make it for him. He really is great. But he is playing safe for the time being. Ezio on the spike. But sit down now. 9 AP. Peggy trying to find the frag here. Now we just spuds in. And now it's just reason and good old T sack or chat left. Goes for the bomb. Peggy's there with the AWP. There it is, an eco win. Bomb choke. Yeah, good stuff. All of that set up by uh, Declan and Jaken, who got aggressive, uh, sat themselves into the smoke, facing the full-on uh, eco rush, and, and just allowed choke players to get around them before anyone really knew what was happening. And uh, maybe if they'd sat back and been a little more passive on that B site, then they would have been absolutely fine. Uh, left Spud's a bit too much to do. He made the uh, opening pick as players poured down the ramp, but he had three coming at the same time, I think. Uh, missed the second flick shot, which is a really tough shot. And here comes Choke. Uh, they are on the rampage. Now a couple of frags up in the upper um, to the main area. And they've got uh, 3v1 chance to get the plant down. That will happen pretty quickly. Reason did a uh, good job picking up a couple. Uh, but it looks like it's all down to Declan and a tough ask for him to try and retake this uh, open area. I don't think he's going to go for it at all. 
Yeah, losing this one puts Kaz onto the eco round as well. Declan currently saving 4.7k. It's going to be a good amount to take through to that next round. It means that at least someone will have something to work with. But, uh, Choke grabbing their fourth round. I think if they get to about six here, they'll probably be happy with their performance. But then it relies on their CT side. And as I mentioned in the first map, they're a T favored team. Their, their T side is stronger than their CT. And the map comes into it, I guess. And we could have a close game on our hands here. Yeah, no doubt. I think a poor CT setup can get exposed uh, here on... Mm. Still, TV's frozen, so it looks like we've got some pause that's going to come up at some point. We do indeed. Not too sure what that's about. Either that or GoTV is dead. Uh, you never know. But right now, let's take a quick look at the scoreboard. You have Reason there with 15. Frank Spuds on 11. Declan 10. Check on 7. Jacob at the bottom there on 6. On the other hand, though... Immy, mid-table, seven. He's the guy you want to be looking out for. If he's anywhere in the top half, then something isn't exactly going too great. Mighty Max is uh, is there on 11 at the top. Peggy, lagging behind everyone. In fact, lagging behind Mighty Max, really playing quite well. Yeah, and we are uh, back with some live action. So a bit of a spoiler. We're going to have a pause upcoming pretty soon. Definitely is able to save that weapon, and we do have uh, eight seven. Um, interesting, Pal the Orper is uh, sitting so low on the scoreboard, hasn't been uh, much of an influence at all yet on this T side. So there's still the chance that he could uh, start opening the taps up, and um, maybe wants to hit a few shots and get in form, ready to uh, start locking things down on CT side, or at least trying to do that. Uh, Kaz Esports forced back onto a pistol apart from Declan with the rifle that he's saved. So he's going to be out in the uh, B area trying to hold that. And he might have some attention, but no, the players have dropped down. Instead of going for a pop push, someone got tagged there. That's uh, SEO. But uh, Immy's in there. And again, entry frags into main. That seems to be Immy's fourth save this game. And he's got a second as well. Good spray down. Oh, wow. Jack with the knife frag on the Oh, and now he's picked up this AWP. This isn't... Surely this isn't going to be a 5k coming out from Chak where it all started with a knife. It's, so, it's embarrassing. Declan picks up one. It's just Dimmy left now. He's going to be lurking. Chak going to probably try and face him here. And he picks it up. Declan's still holding this. He's going to get the defuse come in. He's got five seconds left. Can he do it? I think he can. He's, he's done it. it. Bomb has been and the fries. Big, big play. That was pretty special. Jack. Yeah, Jack, what a play that was. Comes in with a knife, which we just missed, and then pulls the AWP out, not the team AWP, and uh, unleashes three awesome shots in quick succession. Really good stuff, and it gave uh, opportunity uh, for Declan to come out and uh, pick up that diffuse right at the end. So 9-4 it is in favour of Kaz, and with the uh, finances, we've got Spuds with the uh, opening pick taken down SEO, so uh, momentum is uh, shifting back in favour of Kaz. You would think uh, Chak in there again with the frag and they're trading Spuds with the AWP, uh, Powell with a couple. Then maybe it's time for him to start waking up. Uh, two versus two then. And with about a minute left to go, just over. Um, now you go into the pop dog from uh, Powell. So he's going to try and make his way to the site. Both players around him and Jacob saw head just enough to make that shot and uh, takes him down. So it is going to be 2v1 with uh, Peggy, last man standing on the site. Yeah, Peggy just actually spotted. Uh, Jacob there towards the back of the train so he knows roughly where he is which is why we're seeing him rotate in this way kind of worried about the flank coming in always checking exactly where Jacob is now he's picked up the bomb he will jump up onto the train spot towards Z and now it looks like he will try and go for the plant he tries so, uh, Jacob gets the pick but now he has to be careful of Declan he is going to go for the bomb plant here. Declan should be quick on this one. But all Peggy needs is the headshot. Declan jumps up onto the train. Gets the frag. The defuse will come in. That's going to be a 10-4. Declan also retrieves the AWP. It's going to finish that one off. 10-4. And enough money in the bank for Chug to uh, put a buy together for this final round. Yes, uh, all in all, they've got to be uh, pretty happy um, with the way that they've uh, locked this one down. 
choke a strong two-sided team as we've uh, already talked about so if they can limit them to four or five then they've got to be feeling uh, fairly confident about their chances going forward um, it's going to be reliant on trying to get things set up nice and early haven't got too many rounds to play with can't afford to lose the pistol really yeah that's going to be when they do switch over towards that second half we have one final round right here and jacob's going to be the man opening it up Look as he swaps reasons there with a second on to Ezio. He's looking for another guess for that one. Looking for a third now. It is just Mighty Max left standing. How mighty can he go? Not very. As he will get taken down by the Chuck. The Greekman. The Greek, I guess. And that's going to be an 11 4 choke, really, on the back foot. Bomb has been defused. Counter terrorists win. So second half up coming then, and uh, it's going to be all the tale of this pistol round and how it goes uh, for both teams. Uh, if Kaz can go and pick that one up and step through and try and get the next couple as well, then that's going to put them on 14-4 uh, and then leave them in a position where Choke need to be on point uh, from second one uh, on the first by v by um, with their rifles. But you never know, they might be able to hold this one still. In very early stages, we're probably going to get a tentative build-up. Nothing too committal straight off the bat. Mighty Max is up there in the window, so he could be an easy target up there. As soon as he starts firing bullets down, they'll know where he is and they'll be uh, looking to pick him off if they do decide to hit into that upper area. Yeah, very passive from Kaz for the time being. It looks like the two players on B will probably just be a fake. As Max in this position is actually a pretty slow retake. Rotate, sorry, as Jacob does connect onto Peggy. This is going to open up by Pals there. One, two for him. Kirk will get the return as we are 3v3. Max is the key player here, but he does get taken down. Ezio and him, he lost two standing. Makes that now just Ezio in the one versus three. Not the result that Choke wanted, and this could be the uh, beginning of the end for them, potentially. As uh, Ezio can pull out something sick here. We have seen uh, a bit of a special... Uh, individual play from uh, Shaq not too long ago, so it could happen. So I'm going to try and challenge. Just looking for someone he can pick off. Go try and do it one at a time if you can. And uh, they're not really committing now. They do commit, but they commit in force with two of them stepping out at the same time. Uh, yes, so it does get the frag taking down Spuds, uh, but it's going to be 12-4 uh, to Kaz. Yep, not what Choke wanted. Essentially, they're going to be playing from 14-4 down to try and come back and win 16-14. Very little room for error. They will be forcing up here, however. Scout 5-7, P250. Owl, of course, with that scope in rifle. AG from Max does go towards main. Connects with Jake, and they actually double nade him. Going down to 39 HP. They are going for a top play. That's Simi going down. And Ezio is looking for more. Spud getting smacked down. The old now. In fact, it's Jacob, yeah, look, Jacob falling. Bud's on a mere 1 HP, he's going to have to be careful. Yeah, he's got to be yeah, wary of those nades. Peggy comes out on top and makes that frag. Declan doesn't know Mighty Max is uh, just above him up there in the nest. And Choke have got a half decent setup uh, for upper here. Bomb's going in the other direction, though, into B. It's going to be uh, an easy plant. And uh, still got one player left uh, to try and. Uh, Run a misdirection play. Uh, he's made his way uh, out into back steps. And now Choke start to get the idea that he's going to be the other site. They're going to make their way in there. Got SEO coming up top. Could have a challenge straight off the bat. But no. Um, and the Cavs player doesn't show himself. Pegging Choke going into the back of the site. SEO with the chance to make the kill on Shaq. And he does. And it's Declan uh, picking up Peggy. So uh, one player each left. SEO on the site. And that headshot's going to do it. 13-4. But nonetheless, a strong eco round there from Choke. As it looks like we're into yet another pause here. In fact, no, we've... No, no, there we go. There we go to the air. But a strong eco there. They got four frags, forced four rebuys. The plant obviously won't help Choke out when it comes to keeping Kaz under the wraps. It's yet again going to be another side play coming out from, from three of them. Spud to Jacob, just spamming out through main. The initial shot is not going to connect with power. He's down to 67, but 
They weren't able to find Frag Max getting up close here with reason. They know where he is. Just is going to get fragged onto power. Max is going to fall. Peggy goes down as well. Even just as well. He's going to go down. Look at the HP zone. Powers 1, 10, and 13. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, prime example of getting the tanks, but not the frags for those guys. It's uh, a reason top of the scoreboard, 22 and 10. The rest of his teammates uh, falling behind just a little bit. Um, Powell starting to warm up just a little, but still on 7 and 16. Uh, SEO down there in the same uh, kind of uh, level, same exact score, actually, same KDR. We've seen that SEO has been fairly quiet all events so far, but it's been uh, the first five versus by and his image. Coming out top with two frags. Sharp to Spuds to uh, do something with the orb. And Declan comes out as well. Bringing it back even. Spuds with a shot on Powell. Uh, down by side. And he might have the chance for a second one as well. Uh, that's uh, Peggy in there. So numbers favour Kaz. Going to try and get it to uh, overtime at best. 15-4. And with uh, SEO and Peggy still holding a, a loose grip on this A site. Check though, he's going to get the one tap to Ezio's head, leaving just Peggy, last man standing here. This is essentially the last, the last draw. If this breaks, then we're headed to Mirage a lot quicker than we expected here. As it is going to be a B play, Peggy is rotating up. But will more than likely get taken down as soon as he shows at the top of that ladder. Gonna be Declan, yeah, Declan should be right here. Uh, it's as easy as that. Map point now for Kaz Esports. And Choke haven't got enough to put a proper buy together either, so I think we are seeing the beginning of the end here, and it will be Mirage uh, as the next. But you never know, there's still a moment, there's still a chance. I've got the Swag 7 out in the hands of uh, Marty Max, and that's uh, done some serious damage to 27 in 1 uh, in this tournament in particular, so you can't rule it out if you get some close. So uh, Peggy might be trying to get a little bit aggressive on side. We're not going to have much joy from there. There's no one there. And uh, Mighty Max does come out on top with the Swag 7. It looks like uh, we might see a hold here from uh, Choke. Uh, Reason doing a good job uh, on the site, taking down a couple of players. So Kaz going to be looking to work from this now. Uh, still uh, one man down on the advance. Peggy has got a chance for a long-range shot on Spuds. He's going to uh, get out of dodge for the time being and just live to fight another day. SEO uh, coming in through Connector. It's going to have uh, some attention up close. Imi, though, good work taking spuds from the angle. 1v3. Peggy looks like he might have his man and does. So uh, Choke lives to fight another day. 15-5. question is, how many more days do they fight for? Because they have to win 10 rounds straight in a row. Yes, it's train. Yes, it's T favor, uh, CT favoured, arguably. Because they've had the momentum with them. They've had the aim. They've been winning these duels. They only need one. They need 10% of the rounds left. And that really isn't a lot. No, you think they'd be able to pick that out from somewhere? Got Mike Max on top of the train. Uh, all shot cracked away, but that didn't connect with anything uh, from the CT side. It's a power with the AWP in hand. Tony, maybe B is going to be their better route to get in. Then they might not have any uh, long range concerns to worry about. Spuds put the AWP down, going for the AK this time. Full rifle setup. Powell now not really in a position where he can influence proceedings with his AWP, with uh, things going inside. And we're looking to make his way to connector and do as much damage as he can from long range. At 30 seconds left to go, the nades are going to go in, and that molly's going to slow down progress into the site just a little bit. We can see Declan's health ticking away as he makes his way in. Uh, SEO with a chance to take down Chak, and he does exactly that. Uh, Imi on the site uh, seems to be uh, a big influence on the team here, and he's got a second. He takes down Spuds just a second after the plant went in. A chance from upper as uh, Jacob gets a frag on Powell, uh, but uh, Reason gets caught from behind by Mighty Max. Uh, Jacob with the fire is able to pick up SEO, but it's Mighty Max mopping up, and it is going to be two rounds on the bounce for Choke. Yep, two down, nine to go now for Choke Gaming. 
And again, though, because they got the plant down, does that allow them to stay here? It does not. I mean, they're more than welcome to force if they want. They're in a position where they can. But it looks like they won't be doing just tech nines for the time being. So expect a bit of a rush play, probably out of main or out of pop. You never know. There are actually a lot of places to go for a fast play. You can go fast side, fast B, fast pop, fast main. All of them can work effectively. But it looks like it's just going to be a slow, steady contact play towards the B site. Everyone just hucking on in. As they now make their way towards the site. Gonna try and work this B again. We were able to get in and, and pick up a plant last round, but that was all they got out of it. Gonna be trying to do the same thing again. And here it comes. Uh, SEO is in the perfect position to spray down. He's got two straight up that boy. He runs out. Imi doing the same thing, and he's eventually caught, but it's SEO there backing up and taking down Declan. The full rotate now coming into the site, and it's Reason Lovelace down there in the smoke, and uh, he's caught quite easily. So Choke come out, only lose one man. Uh, don't give away a uh, bomb plant. So good round from them. Now they have another test ahead of them though, it's going to be a full rifle setup. See this is something as well which favours Kaz here, they've got 8 more rounds just to test things out, see how different setups work on this map up against Choke. If these AKs don't work, we could see a double orb setup at some point, you never know once the economy gets going. Max is just going to the bomb screen here, and he finds the frag, back double, that's the second time we've seen a double molly kill. Two players left now, Declan and Chuck, these rifles. Not doing what they were paid for. Yeah, they've pretty much uh, given it away here. Peggy uh, going to get the frag on Declan. That's the bomb down there. And they just uh, gave it away far too easily. Pushed that into uh, upper. Got unloaded on by pretty much anything that Choke had to throw at them. And they've uh, held it very well. Leaving Shaq last man standing. Walking along here up top. Just going to try and pick up uh, a loose frag. Choke player going on the chase. Maybe try and save out if he can, but he's not going to get that opportunity unless he takes down SEO. And he doesn't. Comes out second best on that exchange. 15 8. And Kaz actually going for another Rico here. Uh, means, well, the amount they're actually putting into this means they will have the banks for an AWP. Uh, potentially two. So it is certainly an option here if they do want to mix things up. Try and take those long range jewels. But for Choke right now, they're looking pretty. pretty Comfortable coming back into this, but I said it's a big old man. One, two, three. If he runs out, Bill is having to jump. Gets dragged down by Declan. There's actually a team kill in there as well from Spuds, as it is now just Declan, last man standing. He's going towards Pop Dog, as well as some spray, but right now he is on the top of the Bebop site. I'm just going to have to. Uh Watch things play out here, about a minute left to go, and they're going to try and hunt him down. Declan trying to get out with whatever weapon he can, and he can't get out with anything. And so for the then, they've got a dollar to keep on buying, and I'm thinking they probably will do that. Got the money for Orcs as well, if they want to go that route. So think about it, Spud wants one here, and he'll go for it. The other question was whether they wanted the second one or to reason or not. The answer was no, sticking with the AK for the time being. And Spuds is going to be going for the quick main peak. Not actually finding anything. That's Peggy here. Just playing around Ivy. And yeah, not really seeing too much. Declan going for the boost up out of pop. There is, of course, the window there. Peggy should have Chuck in his crosshair soon enough. Just decides to smoke it out instead. Power with the AWP in mid, going to try and uh, get the opening pick on anyone that uh, dares to try and step into his domain there. Good to see the uh, good old fashioned uh, AWP across mid uh, back in play on train. It's always been a, a favourite map of mine um, in whatever guise it has been in train. Uh, but we see 45 seconds left to go and still uh, the players uh, being patient. Seen a few times where they've uh, rushed in a bit like headless chickens and it's not paid off for him. Imi gets tanked down to 74, throws a Molotov, drops out and he's going to be calling that there's a possible uh, B push coming in. Uh, 30 seconds left and they are going to commit to this. They're getting their uh, nades and their flashes ready to go in. 
And actually, that's a fake uh, from Jacob. And they're now making their way back towards uh, the A site. Running out of time. Going to have to move really quickly on this. Reason pushes out. Spuds with a pick on the AWP as well. And as long as they can get to the site uninterrupted, which they can uh, with Reason getting the plant down, they might be okay here. Jacob picks up a frag on SEO, leaving Immy and the AWP of Powell. And there goes Immy. Powell, last man. Try and keep them in this. Declan finds him. And it is going to be 16-9. We are going to see some Mirage. Yeah, we are. And the real difference with... That final round there was in fact the AWP. Spuds went out on that site. He got the cross map or cross site uh, orb shot and opened it up. Then there was one player left, which I believe it was Reason, uh, dispatched off towards Green Train. And then just sent them out. Connect got the bomb down. Found the final frags as the pressure was on Choke. And picked up the map. That's going to be 2 1 now in favour of Kaz Esports as we move on. Yes, we do. So we'll take a couple of minute break. Um, probably going to be about five minutes before Mirage does take place. Give the players uh, a few minutes to have a breather. And we are going to be back here for the Epic 15 uh, Grand Final. Kaz take a 2-1 uh, lead on proceedings as we go to Mirage. Catch you soon.